everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. Let's go ahead and balance this chemical equation. So we're going to go ahead and list all elements on both sides of our equation and then count up our atoms. And you can see that um, both of them are unbalanced. So let's just go ahead and start with our phosphorus. We need this one to be a 2, so we can easily put a coefficient of a 2. Now we need to focus on our oxygen. You can tell we have one even and one odd number. When that happens, the easiest thing to do is to just use these numbers on the opposite side as the coefficient, unless there is a lowest, lower common multiple that would give you um, a better solution. So we're just gonna try that. So we're gonna use this five over here and do five times two is gonna give us 10 oxygen. It seems like a big number, don't be scared. If we're wrong, we can always go back and fix it. And then over on this side, we need it to be a 10 as well. And so we're going to use that 2 in the front and make it be 10 because that 2 times the 5 gives us a 10. However, it does change how many phosphorus we have. So now we have 4 phosphorus on the side. An easy fix to change this one to 4 is to just remove the 2 and put a 4 coefficient instead. And now you are balanced.